What is good, everybody? Today we're back with brand new wrestling action figure news for you guys. It's just another day, another day of reveals or another day of action figure news, man. It's been ridiculous these last couple weeks with news videos. I mean, we have well over an hour's worth of news over the past, you know, couple weeks or so, man, just of constant releases, things that are coming this year, things that we're going to be seeing in, a, in like a few days. And then we got some stuff yesterday, man. It's just been running rampant. So if you're a collector or you're looking to get into collecting or wrestling action figures, man, it's been running rampant and it, there's no better time to jump in right now because there's so much available from all different eras man it's absolutely ridiculous but today man we're diving into some epic news because finally we finally have an update on the AEW Jazzwares vault and the AEW Jazzwares vault is going to be pretty much the ex the equivalent of the Mattel Creations website so everything that Mattel Creations is where they can you know su such as the CM Punk that they're making the Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition the Logan Paul Ultimate Edition these made to order action figures these exclusive action figures are actually going to be available on Jazzwares Vault, which is going to be, again, like I said, the equivalent of Mattel Creations, where they can put up some exclusives, they can put up things made to order, hopefully, in the future, and we do have a bunch of stuff to cover here today, man. We have new images and things of that nature. About a lot of stuff coming soon that I wanted to touch on and get into, man, so with that being said, let's dive into what we have here today, man. And we also have some other wrestling action figure news as well. It's not just Jazzwares and AEW. We do have some looks at some leaked WWE elites. So let's buckle the hell up and get into it, man. So we had a couple different posts and announcements on social media. Jazzwares Vault, which is an Instagram, man, you need to follow them. If you have, if you guys have an Instagram, you need to follow the Jazzwares Vault because they're going to give you a lot of information on these things as well as, you know, of course, myself. If you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely do so. I'd greatly appreciate it, at my damn toys. But they did post up, and it says, The countdown is on. The Jazzwares Vault unlocks in one week, Wednesday, March 27th. Visit jazzwaresvault.com to sign up for the latest news. So you can go ahead and go ahead and, you know, sign up and make an account, I think, over there already if you guys want to do so and you can follow them get updates and whatnot but also Jeremy Padauer did post to Twitter and gave us an update and he says Jazzwares Vault News and it says the initial Jazzwares Vault product will include Ring of Honor, Kenny Omega, Ring of Honor, Claudio, Call of Duty Ghost, Star Wars Battle of Hoth, and so much more launches March 27th. So there are going to be more items than just, you know, AEW. And so they're going to have the Ring of Honor stuff. And also, I don't know for sure, but I want to say the new Supreme Malachi Black is also dropping. I don't know. Yeah, I want to say it was involved in the announcement, but he didn't, he doesn't mention it there, but I could have swore I've seen other posts saying that the, the Malachi Black's going up. Now, all of these things are one of 3,000, which is kind of scary. One of three, like, dude, one of 3,000 is kind of insane because, or maybe the Malachi Black's one of 5,000, I don't know, but some of these figures are going to be one of 3,000 that get posted up right here. Like the Ring of Honor Kenny Omega, the Ring of Honor Claudio, all that stuff, man, it's scary to think about because more than 3,000 people are going to watch this video, man. That's, I mean, look, well, I... <laughs> SOL, I guess, is what we're saying. You know what I mean? So, I mean, most of this stuff is going to be very exclusive. I don't know if they, you know, did these things this exclusive because, you know, sales were down and so the quantities got messed up. You know what I mean? And, like, there was so much product out at retail stores. I don't know if those have anything to do with each other. There may not be any equivalence there, but I don't know. Certainly something to think about. But, yeah, Ring of Honor, Kenny Omega, Ring of Honor, Claudio, and the Malachi Black, I think, are what's all going up. Now, all of these figures look incredible. I'm actually really intrigued with all three of them. Now, we do have some, like, detailed shots of packaging and the figures here and some of these like these images from this room or whatever you're going to see of the Malachi Black those actually come from my man Carlos Barrera on Instagram and so he gets a lot of stuff that's unreleased way before it comes out he's an absolute menace to society man has every chase AEW figure loose and men on card he has a ridiculous collection I need to go to his house and do a video tour of his collection his collection's crazy man so huge shout out to my man Carlos there but he did post up these images and told me that I could use them in the video so I figured why not go ahead and do it but yeah man Man's got freaking Ultimate Edition, Monday Night Wars Ultimate Editions and stuff. He's already got the Ray Fan Takeover Ultimate. Just a just a menace to society out here. But if you look at this, man, it's going to come in a shipper. You guys can see the Jazzwares Vault shipper. You can see the Malachi Black box. And then there's a box inside of that box. And it has the flaps on there. It has the Jazzwares sticker. You can see all the different designs on the sides of the packaging. And it's really well done. You guys know that AEW and Jazzwares never skips out on packaging. So the Malachi Black figure looks amazing. And I, <laughs> it sucks because, you know, this thing is one of five. 5,000 as the sticker says and if it's one of 5,000 that means that again people that I know not everybody that watches this video is going to want this figure but there are not going to be enough figures for everybody that watches this video including myself making this video so I don't know what to expect man I you know it's really going to be tough to secure these things I have no idea what's going to go into this I don't know if the, the site's going to crash I just don't I, I don't know I don't know maybe you don't have interest in this I want to know down in the comment section below are you even interested in these figures and whatnot and I know that you know 
know, maybe interest level in the AEW Jazzwares line probably isn't as high as the WWE Mattel line. I've seen that across the board, or some people pick them up sparingly and whatnot. But I guess this is, you know, going after the people that really love Ring of Honor or they really love these looks of these characters. I'm definitely going to try my hand at these, especially the Supreme Malachi Black. I don't know if you guys know this, but the, the actual Supreme Series 2 Malachi Black, that figure never even made it to retail and it's super sought after. So I imagine this exclusive version, this one's going to also be super sought after because of how exclusive or how hard it was to get the Series 2 Malachi Black. I think if you didn't get it from Ringside Man, you never got it. So that's kind of where the, the thing is there. And I think even the Kenny Omega was difficult to find, man. So I know there was a Walmart exclusive edition that you could get, but you know, Malachi Black was super sought after and there was not enough figures to go around apparently, or they just didn't push it out as much. So this version of Malachi Black here with the gold mask and everything, it looks amazing. I'm very excited for it. And the thing is, man, if you want to collect it mint on card, I don't know how the hell you're going to get one mint on card and have one loose. So if you're a Supreme co Completionist, oh man, I, d I don't know. It, there's just a lot. There's not enough to go around, man, unless you pay the super, you know, the, the aftermarket prices. So I don't I don't know what's going to go with this. You guys can let me know what you think of all that down in the comment section below. You know, I don't know if they had to make them exclusive. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they had to make them one of 5,000 or what have you. But I will say at the same time, these figures took so long to come out. They could have made these made to order and they probably already be out now. You know what I mean? Like the first time we learned about this figure and whatnot, and maybe it got, you know, the news got leaked out before it actually, you know, was revealed and announced officially by Jazzwares. Had this figure been announced, had this figure been made to order, such as like the CM Punk that's coming soon or something like that, maybe they could have made enough and whatnot, and then it'd be up to the buyer's discretion, like, oh, you missed out the first time, so that's why it's more exclusive, but in this case, only having 5,000 of them, I don't know, man. We'll have to see about all those things, man, but the figure does look amazing. I'm very excited for it. I like all the face paint, but again, man, it's one of 5,000. I don't know what it's going to go for, men on card after the fact, and if you want this figure to open up i don't know how you're going to secure two of them at checkout that's what i'm trying to say so there's a lot of things going on here man i don't know it's definitely going to be stressful trying to check out and do all those things man but we will have to see but again wednesday the 27th i think it is is when this is going up which is next wednesday i think it is so big stuff coming man so we have just so much news so not only do we have all these announcements that i've been making in these news videos we have the mattel revealed event coming this friday you have jazz wears doing the vault stuff next wednesday and then the following week it's going to be wrestlemania or wwe world where they're revealing a shish ton of figures so it's just heating up man things are heating up every single day it seems with news and stuff but that's not all we have man we also have a look at the ring of honor kenny omega this figure is going to be up for order the same day as the malachi again man uh, or I guess I don't, I want to say, again, like I said, I'm pretty sure the Malachi Black's going up at the same time, but having three of those figures up, I don't know if you're going to be able to secure all three at checkout. That's why, I, I don't know. It's just, I, I'm stressed out just thinking about those things, but Ring of Honor, Kenny Omega here. Very cool. I like all the images of this Kenny Omega. Being a big Kenny Omega guy, I really like this a lot. I love the gear. I like the colors, the, the blue Omega symbol. He's got the curly blonde hair in there. Just a really cool figure, man, and it looks like they're using the Sammy Guevara style body is what it looks like and Sammy Guevara figures are very poseable so I'm excited for that I think this figure looks really really good I'm excited for the Kenny Omega check me off for every Kenny Omega possible but again pretty sure this is one of 3,000 or one of five I think it's one of 3,000 is what this is so I don't know man you guys can let me know if you're grabbing the Kenny Omega but we also have Claudio and Claudio looks really good as well you know we don't have his unmatched figure in hand just yet it is coming very very soon hopefully we will get an update on that very soon as well but Claudio looking good here in the red very cool interchangeable heads got the ring of honor mic he's got the red packaging in there very cool. I love all the details in the packaging, man. These are just a sight to behold, man. But yeah, Claudio's looking good as well. So we have all these different images that we can see here. Oh man, this is this is interesting, man. This is just an interesting day to be alive. But outside of the Claudio and the Kenny and the Malachi Black going up for order, we also just have some images here, man. We have some images of these figures that are coming to the vault. So, you know, one thing is for sure, I do imagine on this first go around, a lot of people are going to be hyped up to try and grab the figures. And if they end up selling out or what happens, have you or you know it was, it's a shish show or something like that and nobody's able to grab them or you know a lot of people aren't able to grab the figures that they want to grab I would imagine that probably the next time the next release comes around people aren't even going to try and maybe it might
might open up. I don't know, but just something that I thought about. But the next figures that we have here, man, we just have some different figures. We have like some Ring of Honor exclu Jazzwares Vault exclusives coming up right here. We have the Brian Danielson figure, which looks amazing, man. I love these head sculpts in here. This apparently is one of 5,000. This Vault exclusive Brian Danielson, American Dragon. He's got his long coat in there. The shipper, the packaging, the little sleeve that goes over it looks amazing. Really happy or hype for the Brian Danielson figure as well. Just looks like a stud in the packaging, man. That's a beautiful looking figure. I like the way the kick pads look. It, look like, it looks like he even has like the details in the kick pads, similar to the Kenny Omega figure. But we also have a look at the Young Buck figures that are also going to be vault exclusive. I do believe this is going to be a two pack and I don't know when this is coming out, but these are just some extra figures that were kind of put out there and I don't know when they're coming, but you know, they're, they showed off a ton of Ring of Honor stuff months ago, right? Like we saw the Briscoes, we saw the Young Buck figures, we saw the Claudio, the Kenny Omega, the Brian Danielson, we even saw the Danhausen. So there's so many, even like Adam Cole, right? So there's just so many figures that are coming down the line. Hopefully we can get some more consistent releases and this year we can kind of revive the line here. But the Young Bucks look good. You know, they're, they're not my favorite. I don't like this leg mold that they use with the molded on tassels, but the shirts do look good. Head sculpts are, are solid. I like mats better than Nick's. We have those Young Bucks there in the black and silver. And we also have a look at the Ring of Honor Danhausen figure right here, which also looks really good. I love Danhausen. He's got his cloth cape in there. He's got the interchangeable hands. He even has the jar of teeth. So this this is really sweet, man. I, I love the way this Danhausen looks. And you guys know that they like to pump out Danhausen. He, his figures are so great. They feel really good in hand. So really hyped for the Danhausen figure as well. And I think this is these are only really the images we have. Now, again, the Danhausen, the Young Bucks, the Brian Danielson, these things are not going up for order. It seems yet on Jazzwares Vault, but the rest of these said the Kenny Omega, Claudio, and Malachi Black are the ones apparently going up for order, but. I'm really hyped for the Danhausen and such as well, but we also have a look at the Death Triangle 3-pack, which apparently is coming soon. Now, I feel like we saw this forever ago, man. Ray Phoenix, Penta, and Pac. You got their black and silver gears in there. Very good-looking figures as they are. All three guys are pretty toyetic in my opinion, but they come with all the championships. The packaging on these is ridiculous. I'm really hyped for the Death Triangle 3-pack, and all these look so good, men on card, man. That's what makes it tough about the 1 of 3,000 or 1 of 5,000 because it's going to be difficult to track those down. And, you know, with Chase figures, like typical Chase, Chase AEW figures, I feel like it wasn't as much. It's not as big of a deal because you're not straight up ordering it. If they were to put the one like a one of five thousand Chase figure on a website, I feel like it would sell out pretty quickly depending on what it is. You know, we've seen with the Shop AEW exclusives, we've seen with the Collect Forever, those don't sell out immediately. The one of three thousand is the one of five thousand because they are, you know, the figures aren't changed that much. But you know, when you get these really different figures or this really epic packaging, I feel like that's going to put a more heavier emphasis on picking them up, and that's what's going to cause people to come after it. And so that. That's probably, I don't know, man. It's just, it's going to be very interesting development as we get into it. But we also have a look at the pay-per-view exclusive, Target exclusive, Revolution AEW unrivaled Brian Danielson figure here in the black. And I love this shirt. This figure looks amazing, middle card. I love the blue teal looking colors to match Revolution. I like the black and silver gear that he has going on here. Good looking head sculpt. I still wish they'd change Brian Danielson's torso. I think he should use the MJF torso. I do not like the massive torso that they give him, but I like the black and silver and red. I like the red t-shirt. Very good looking figure, men on card. Definitely going to be grabbing a couple of these. Very beautiful figure. I like this Brian Danielson a lot. And I know we kind of already seen this, but the images that we got, this one seems to be a more clearer image of the figure in packaging, so I did want to plug this in the video and talk about it. I can't even remember where I found that, that photo from, but... Just a very interesting development, man. March 27th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is going to be next Wednesday, they're going to be dropping all of this stuff on the Jazzwares Vault, man. So it's going to be, oh, uh, man. Uh, I'm already, I, the anxiety is rising already, but... We also have a look at the SummerSlam Elites, man. The last bit of news that we have here today, man, is the SummerSlam Elite figures. Now, we don't have every figure in the set. We don't have the X-Pac, I think it is, to complete the set, but we do have the rest of the figures in the way, man. We have the SummerSlam Elite Lex Luger here. Very beautiful looking figure, man. Look at this figure right here. I like the coloration here, all the bells and whistles. He really looks sick with the packaging, and this packaging on this figure looks amazing, man. Look at this SummerSlam packaging. You got the Build-A-Figure John Cone down there, which you can actually make out. Looks really good. The head sculpt looks like it's going to be very awesome. So, John Cone's referee figure looking great. Of course, we have multiple referee figures coming this year with Teddy Long. So, I'm, I'm so hyped about getting a referee Build-A-Figure 
finally in the line. I know a lot of people have been wanting that for a long time, but I like the the way this packaging looks. But Lex Luger looks really damn good. We also have a look at Kane, which is pretty much an Elite Four re-release, another re-release coming to the line. He comes with the head of John Cone, but this figure looks really good as well. He's got this, you know, the smiling head sculpt. I really would have preferred the pissed off head sculpt, but again, this is the Elite Four figure re-release pretty much. So it is a bit different there. But I'm hyped for this because you guys know that I've always said that Kane's figures look too small, but it does look like they've given him the bigger arms, so it should update his size. He should look a lot more like Kane. A lot more menacing, but you could use this as a ruthless aggression cane, especially in the mid 2000s. I think 2004, 2005, this is pretty much what Kane was wearing. I mean, even later than that, I'm pretty sure he never changed his tights. He had the, you know, the glossy black and red with the stitches going around. You could use that easily for, you know, 04, 05 Kane going through there right there, especially if you put the pissed off head sculpt on there. I love this version of Kane actually, so. This is gonna. This is this checks the box for me, man. I love this version of Kane, so I'm definitely hyped for this updated early on a lead of Kane. It's money, and then we also have the wide-eyed Undertaker here, which looks so funny, man. He's got the screaming head sculpt, of course. He's got the wide eyes. I think this is gonna look better because you know, even though his sing him and Kane have the the skinny torsos right on their regular, if they're wearing the singlet or the you know the shirt, they always have a skinnier torso. But pairing it with those bigger arms does definitely help it. But yeah, he does have kind of a skinnier torso. However, the arms are going to make this figure look better. He's got fists in there that have the white tape underneath. Very much looking forward to the SummerSlam wave, man, especially with the build -a figure. Even if I'm not that hyped for the Undertaker with the head sculpt, having this body with double jointed arms, Undertaker, is money because you can you can head swap it and make different eras of Undertaker. And so that's that's what's money for me. I really wish this was a 2004 SummerSlam Undertaker. Re God, I wish that was. It's not, which is unfortunate, but you could still head swap it and make it into one, but I really wanted it to be like the short haircut SummerSlam, you know, WWE champion or going after the WWE championship version of Undertaker there would have been really cool. But nonetheless, man, that is all of the SummerSlam elites that we have. Again, I don't have a picture of the Build-A-Figure. I don't have the X-Pac figure in this video, but still fun to look at. I'm, I'm glad to see, you know, updates on these figures and all these images, man. So it should be fun, man. But I think that is all of the news that we have today, man. Lots of AEW Jazzwares vault stuff. We got the SummerSlam Elite. Just a lot of news, man. It's just, I feel like every time I blink, there's more news being posted, more things being leaked out there. And I have to get on here and talk about it because I really enjoyed breaking down the news here for you guys. So I'd like to know what all of you think down in the comment section. Also, if you missed our toy hunt from yesterday, man, you got to go check that out. That, that Walmart that we went to, was the most loaded store that I've ever seen in my lifetime. So you definitely need to check that out. I greatly appreciate it. Huge shout out to our patron members of the EMDT YouTube channel, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for what you do for me. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know all of your thoughts on this stuff down in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you're going to Toylanta this weekend. We'll be there. And let me know if you're going to be at WrestleMania or WWE World, what have you. We'll be there covering all of the news in Philadelphia and the reveals. Putting up videos, covering all of it there. And hopefully, I can get an interview with Mattel there and talk about all of the different stuff, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyNameToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.